Hello everyone. Um, I've had a question about how to flatten CAD drawings when they come into SketchUp. Here's an example here of a CAD survey and I've brought it into SketchUp and you'll see that kind of the lines are all, well they're not coplanar, they're all kind of up in the air and all set at different levels. So when you try and snap to that, when you're making your site plan models, obviously things don't work out the way you want them to. So you can obviously do this in CAD before you bring it in, but if you haven't got access to CAD, then I'm going to show you a quick way of doing it using a free plugin, which is called Fredo Scale. Okay, so that plugin is available. You can't get it through the 3D warehouse, you have to go to Sketch Education. So if you go to this website, sketchucation.com, and search for Fredo Scale. You can download this plugin for free and then install it as you would with any other plugin. Okay. Um, you'll also have to install this other free plugin called Libfredo, which is basically just like the script files that make it work. Okay. So if we go back into SketchUp, I've got this um, plugin installed. It brings in this tool set here. So if I was to select this CAD file and use SketchUp's scale tool, which is this one here, you'll see that I can kind of move those lines around, but I can't bring them right down to zero. If I type in zero, I get invalid scale, okay? But if I use this tool over here on the Fredo scale, which is box scaling, okay? It looks very similar to the SketchUp scale interface, but what I can do here is I can type in a value of zero, and that drops everything down so that it's completely flat. Okay, super, super quick. And um, one other quick thing on this uh, plugin, which is really useful. If I've got a window component here like this, and this window I think is 900 wide. Yeah, say I want to have exactly the same window, but I want it to be 1200 wide. Now, obviously there's a little bit of modeling work in here, uh, I could manually kind of stretch everything and move it all over, but that would take a little bit of time. Again, if I was to scale this using SketchUp's scale tool, so say I was to stretch it out like that, you'll see that kind of the frame thickness also gets stretched and distorted. It doesn't look, doesn't look right, okay? Instead, if I use this stretch tool over here, which comes with this free plugin, and stretch it, I can stretch it about this red plane here and you'll see that it just extrudes it along that plane okay the frame doesn't change and if i hit tab i can type in 1200 for the width and that's it i've got a 1200 wide version of that window very very quickly okay that's it for now just a little quick intro to that plugin i'd encourage you to download it i mean it's free and have a play around and see what it can do okay cheers bye